blood pump, but I don't know what will. My name is Jared Miller. I'm the city manager for the city of Amarillo. And one thing that, uh, before I even get into prepared comments, one thing that song demonstrated is one of the main, one of the really neat features about this facility is the distributed sound system. You'll never hear the echoes that you heard from Lou Gehrig's famous <laughs> speech that makes it so hard to hear who's at bat and all the other things. This is a fabulous facility. So this is, I was just realizing it this morning, this is the last piece of our downtown Catalyst project for 11 or 12 years. Yeah. For 11 or 12 years, through thick and thin, the city has worked diligently and tirelessly with our entire community to build the uh, convention center hotel, the parking garage, the Hodgetown, the multi-purpose event venue, Hodgetown. Uh, worked with Excel to build this building and all of the development on the west side of downtown that that spur. This is a big deal. There's not many times in the city's history where they get to celebrate something this momentous. It's bigger than just this facility. This facility is awesome. But this is our entire community that's accomplished something truly great that not many cities can say they've been able to do. Uh, the credit goes to the community. Years of our whole community working together. Uh, we're going to have tours available. Uh, today, the tours are only going to be able to happen on the concourse and in the team store, but on April 25th, we're going to have tours available for everyone in the community to come out. We're going to have hosted tours, the team is going to have a lot of personnel available, the city, people who worked on the project, our construction partners, Western Hunt, and probably our architects, populists, are all going to come down for these events. This is a big opportunity for us to actually see the facility that we have built. I want to introduce and recognize uh, some very important people that are here. Uh, they'll say they're not that important, but they're a huge part of this project. And that's our city council, Mayor Ginger Nelson. <laughs> council member Elaine Hayes. There she is right there. <laughs> council member Frida Powell. <laughs> council member Dr. Ed Sauer. <laughs> and council member Howard Smith. Now, because this project stretches over 11 or 12 years, there are so many people that have their hands and their fingerprints and their blood and sweat and tears in this project. It's illustrated by the size of the plaque that's gonna go on this facility. There's, it's easier to say whose name is not on that plaque than whose name is on that plaque. It's the biggest plaque that I've ever seen for a facility. But it, re it recognizes and illustrates the duration of this project and the number of people that have invested in this project. Uh, but that being said, I'm going to recognize groups of people at this point because there's a lot of groups who have put a lot of effort and sweat equity into this project. So all of my past mayors and city council members, can y'all raise your hands, wave them around for us. We are standing, what we've accomplished together is, is, is we're standing on the shoulders of a lot of work, of a lot of people from a lot of different groups. So we also need to have our local government corporation, our LGC. Where are they? We also have our AEDC, Emerald Economic Development Corporation. Oh, we've got some of those individuals here. There we go. Center City. We've got a lot of Center City people. And also, tiers number one, taxes, taxes. Tax Increment Reinvestment Zone number one. Where's all those people? And finally, Downtown Amarillo Incorporated, DAI. Where they are. There they are. We could spend a lot of time going into the roles that each one of these uh, separate institutions has played in making this project possible. Uh, but but we're, we don't have enough time to do that. I'm going to go straight to uh, the person that this whole thing is named for, Hodgetown. That's Jerry Hodge, Mayor Hodge. Tascosa High School, earned his pharmacy degree from Southwestern Oklahoma State University. I heard some Tascosa people whistling over there. 
Uh, in 66, he purchased Maxor, a pharmaceutical company, uh, which was originally located in the Fisk building. At 30 years old, Jerry was elected to the city commission, and at 34, he was elected to mayor, making him the youngest ever to serve in this position. He served as mayor in Emerald from 77 to 81. Uh, he was recently honored by the Emerald Club News as the 2018 Man of the Year, uh, and he was instrumental in helping bring affiliated baseball back to Amarillo. Please well, join me in welcoming Jerry Hot. What a great day. You know, I am a blue here in the city. I'm the luckiest guy to face with the earth. I moved to Amarillo when I was 14 years old. Had that to 57, and you know I've had a few years here. Things like this don't happen accidentally. A group had a vision about the downtown ballpark. I have always wanted to get back to affiliated baseball, which is what we need. What we need. There's a lot of people with a vision. I was very fortunate uh, about three or four years ago to be a guy named Alex Sterling. He was well connected in with Major League Baseball. And we developed a great, great friendship and a great working relationship. But there were so many more people that are involved in it. And actually the whole community. Despite the fact that we've got this many people just to show up for the river today shows you the enthusiasm that the city and the community has for the one that's the head of all of this, the president, the general manager of the soft noodles. And well Martin and I are very humbled by the name of Hogstown. It took him two months to convince us to do that. But these guys have done a heck of a job marketing soft foods. I mean, you know all of the not negative, but all the concern that people had in the beginning, but it's all over the country now. And so it's great. It's great, and this is a great deal for the city of Illinois. Tony, it's your turn. <laughs> Well, thank you guys so much for uh, all being here. What an incredible crowd. Uh, should have started selling tickets to this thing a long time ago. We'd have done a lot, uh, a lot of better. But we've got some great events coming up here uh, soon. We've got a, a, a soft opening that we're doing just for season ticket holders and people that are involved in the club. That's coming up uh, tonight. Uh, just to give us a chance to test the ballpark, to turn on the grills, to turn on the the, the water fountains and, and uh, make sure that the ballpark is running well. But I, I have to tell you, and I love the things that Jerry said, but this, this all started out really as an idea and a dream many, many years ago. Uh, and it really started out as building something unique and something special for the Amarillo community in the downtown area. Uh, as the uh, process did begin many years ago, many years before I got here. And that uh, plaque over there that is temporary now, but will, will be uh, made permanent here soon, uh, rightly dedicates uh, the, the ballpark to those people that have worked for years and years to make this dream possible. For me personally, the journey started about a year ago uh, when I brought my family here from uh, Colorado Springs, running the AAA club for the, for the uh, Milwaukee Brewers and Colorado Rockies. And my wife and uh, kids are back here somewhere. I'd like to recognize my wife, Lynn, and daughters, Grace and Emily. Raise your hand. They've done a great job just by putting up with me, quite honestly. Uh, that's a job in itself. But in order to achieve something on this scale, I mean, this is massive. This, this type of project, I've been around baseball my whole life, 30-plus uh, years. Uh, this sort of thing doesn't happen with a really special group of people. And Jerry kind of alluded to it uh, just a moment ago. But all the people on that plaque, all the current council, all the, the, the mayor, the past mayors, uh, the LGC, everyone that was involved in this, uh, the downtown, uh, the chamber, literally, I, I mean, I can't go on the list, it's just massive, but you've all done an incredible job in bringing this to, but I do want to recognize uh, some special people that I've had the pleasure of working with over the last uh, several, over the last year. Uh, certainly, the and I want to give a nice big 
So I'd put a uh, round of applause to all these people if we can. So the city of Amarillo, everyone involved with the city project here, uh, the people that we work with, Jerry Danforth, Jared Miller, uh, council mayor, everyone in the city that has made this uh, project seamless. Let's give them a nice round of applause. Western Builders, uh, Western Builders is a special group of people. They're local. Uh, they teamed up with uh, Hunt Construction. Uh, Hunt Construction, really an international firm that does these projects, massive projects all over the world. But having that local passion with Western and uh, having that expertise uh, with Hunt to make this thing uh, go off on time and on budget is incredible. That just does not happen. Give them a round of applause. The architect of this uh, project was Populous. Populous designed some of the biggest and best uh, facilities, not just ballparks, but arenas and everything all over the world. They've been here on this project day in, day out with us, hand in hand, making this thing work. Give a nice round of applause for Populous. <laughs> Our Name Your Rise partners, uh, Jerry and uh, Jerry Hodge, Alex Fairley, and you'll see the club level here uh, before too long and all of our founding partners. Without our founding partners making this possible, uh, making the investment in the team, they really did something amazing for the community. You've all seen our ticket prices that range from $6 to $18 per ticket. That's affordable because of our founding partners. So I'm not gonna go down the list of naming them all. Our founding par partners, our fit, uh, official partners, and those partners just support the team. They're, some, uh, they're supporting the community to make everything we do affordable. Give them a nice round of applause. <laughs> San, uh, the San Diego Padres, the best uh, Major League club, the best farm system in all of Major League Baseball. I'll give you guys a little hint. We have seven of the top 30 San Diego prospects on this team this year. Seven of the top 30. I'd be remiss if I didn't recognize uh, my sod poodle, your sod poodle front office staff. Uh, we've been, th th these guys have been working 15, 16 hours a day for the last, I don't know, three, four months, and especially since we got into the ballpark, to make sure that all the programs that we're doing, whether it be community-based, whether it be for our season ticket, all those our sponsors, helping to get this thing built, give our sod poodle staff a nice round of applause. Now, uh, one last thing, you know, with all this, this great team that we've assembled, with all these partners we talked about, and the mayor talked about, and Ginger will talk about, there, there's, you have to have an MVP on your team, right? So I, I, I'll be honest with you, I could not think of anyone that would be the MVP of this project, of this team, of this dream becoming a reality, uh, more so than the community and the citizens of Amarillo. You are the MVP of this project, of this build, why? Because you've embraced this from the, from the get-go. I know we had some rough starts to get going, but you've embraced this. Not only the facility, but the team, the mascot, the name, the silly, crazy things we're, we've done and we're going to do. So you are MVPs. Give yourselves a nice round of applause. I think Jared said a little bit about this, but I'll give you some rules of the ballpark for right now. Uh, we are going to stay on the concourse just so you can see everything. You can go all the way down to the end of the concourse. We still have some construction, di uh, construction guys tightening up some things, doing some painting here and there, a little bit of movement. So please stay on the concourse. You're welcome to go all the way down to the uh, third base side of the concourse. You'll see it all. The place looks beautiful. It's been an incredible, uh, it's been an incredible project. And now I'm going to turn this over to the mayor so we can get to some ribbon cutting uh, to Mayor Ginger Nelson, who works tirelessly every single day.
our community, and he's blessed this project with good weather, most days, <laughs> safe working conditions, and stamina for everyone that touched this project, and we're grateful for that. We have our baseball team and partners, the Elmore Group, Tony, and all the sod boomers. They've shared their reputation of excellence with decades of experience in the professional sports world, and they've given that to us here in Amarillo. They've put down roots in our soil by moving employees and players and truly becoming Amarilloans. And without them, Amarilloans would never have become Saudis, right? <laughs>
and they'll watch the game, and it'll be as if they dip themselves in magic waters. The memories will be so thick, they'll have to brush them away from their faces. People will come, Ray. The one constant through all the years, Ray, has been baseball. America rolled by like an army of steamrollers. It's been erased like a blackboard, rebuilt and erased again. But baseball has marked the time. This field, this game, it's part of our past. It reminds us of all that once was good and that can be good again. Oh, people will come, Ray. People will most definitely come. And now, Amarillo, we have come and we will keep coming to this place to enjoy it with gratitude and the blessings that it will bring. Thank you all for being here today. We have come to take, take care of a very important piece of business, and it has to do with a red ribbon. And I want to walk you guys through a little bit of housekeeping. We have two red ribbon groups. We're going to actually one song. One's red, one's green, right? Blue. 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 Thank you. Uh, so we're going to do the Emerald Chamber of Commerce red coders are lined up and ready to go. So uh, city council, uh, city manager, Mr. Ms. Hodge, Chloe, if you guys will make your way up here, we're going to gather and cut this ribbon. Rock us. Get up here. And then after this ribbon, we're going to pull another one for the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce and cut that one. And then you guys are free to move into the concourse area. There's free soft drinks, free hot dogs. We'd love for you to shop at the team store. I'm very excited. I love, I love hot dogs. <laughs> Good, how are you? I want to see my secrets. <laughs> Have you got your name tag yet? Did y'all get seats? The bank is seats? Happy to see Sorry, sorry. sorry. 